Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today I'm out in the fuel shed and I've got a small batch test to run. I've had several people ask if uh, after seeing the gasoline blended oil ran through the centrifuge unheated if we could use diesel fuel, kerosene, something like that heated through the centrifuge and if it would make a difference. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, what's easy access for me is diesel fuel so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, we'll run a gallon of diesel and with approximately four, four and a half gallons of oil, we'll run it through the centrifuge and we will compare it to our original five gallon batch. So let's get at it. So we got about three quarter gallon of diesel fuel. It uh, looks a little off with the uh, the opaque color of this container, but we're going to mostly fill our bucket up. We're gonna add our diesel fuel and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while. And then we're just going to run it through the centrifuge as I normally would. We'll heat it to 200 degrees and uh, run it through. I will run it through into the finished drum, but we'll uh, take a look at the bowl. We'll get some before and after measurements like we always do. And that'll give us an idea of if it's worth it or not to thin the oil prior to centrifuging, or if running the centrifuge is enough. Um, if there's a big difference, we'll, uh, we should be able to tell pretty easily based on the numbers and the buildup in the bowl. So I'll, uh, Get stuff moved around, get our oil pumped up to the top up there, and uh, get going. Got our bucket full, and I added the diesel fuel first, so as I filled this up, it would mix up a little bit. I'm going to let this sit now for, say, an hour or so. We'll come back out, get uh, weights on the rotor on the centrifuge, and run it through, see how it does. So we're back out in the fuel shed. The uh, bucket there has been sitting hour and a half, two hours now. So diesel fuel has been in there for that long. Hopefully uh, it will have blended in a little bit and is doing its job. So we're gonna go on and get a weight on our rotor. It is not spotless, but it doesn't need to be since we're gonna do a before and after weight, like always. So scoot that over. Make sure nothing's touching. And we are at three pounds, 13.9 ounces. Let's scoot that back a little bit. Let's see here, zero. Three pounds, 13.9 ounces. So I'm gonna go on and get the rotor put back in place, start this up, let the uh, heater preheat to where it's hot, roughly 200 degrees is where I run it at. And uh, I'll start this running. And here in about an hour, maybe a little longer, we'll uh, see what we've got. We are up and running, and oil is flowing. So, we'll be back out here in about an hour, maybe a little longer, and uh, see what happens. Well, our batch has been done for a little bit now. I've been uh, letting it drain down. And now, we will pop it open. Maybe, there we go. Looks like a fair bit of sludge in there. But, uh, I'll go on and get that pulled out and uh, get a final weight on it. Got our scale zeroed out. We are at, uh, Three pounds, 15.4 ounces. Well, I'm back out in the fuel shed. It's been a few days, uh, got kind of sidetracked and now it's late, but let's go over the details of our diesel mix small batch test. Um, after wrapping that up, we removed 1.5 ounces total material uh, after the batch ran through the centrifuge. 
So on our baseline run, we had 1.55 ounces removed. Um, what does that say? Well, we only had four gallons of oil in our bucket up there, roughly a gallon of diesel fuel. So that's 0.375 ounces per gallon of oil in the bucket. So we're not gonna include the diesel fuel in that calculation because the diesel was clean. No particulate to remove. So uh, yeah. But uh, on the baseline run with five gallons of oil, that's 0.31 ounces removed. So diesel fuel added in did help remove a little bit more particulate. Um, is it worth it? That'll be up to you guys. Uh, me personally, I don't put any additives or any mixes in the oil prior to running it through the centrifuge. I do all that after the fact in the finish drum, let it circulate because I've got it set up to, to do so. You've seen that plenty of times. And then it goes through the little particulate filter outside into the trucks. Uh, could it be better to mix in? Uh, maybe. Uh, that, like I said, will just be up to you and how you guys want to do it. Um, if you're not using heat, I would definitely uh, want to use some kind of thinner before running it through the centrifuge. Diesel fuel is your best option there. It'll be safer. Uh, and we did run the diesel mix heated. Didn't have any trouble, so yeah. That will be a much safer option. <clears throat> but I think that's going to wrap that up here. Um, if you've got any comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comment section below. If you would, hit that like button. It really helps us out. Uh, and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, if you want, uh, check out the website. It's www.notsograndgarage.com. We've got our small block pumps up uh, and available. We've got most of the WVO lineup available as well. So hit us up for what you need. Uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel, we've got a PayPal account set up. It's in the description of the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.